Hello everyone and welcome back to NG Buzz YouTube channel. My name is Soki Briggs and today I have a little thing I want to do for you guys. I have a Samsung SGH i957 device. It's 8.9 inch. It's a tab and currently it's on Android 3.2 um, firmware version. We all know that there is Android 6.0, Android 5.0, 4.0 and so on. So if you're still on 3.2 on an Android device, you will most not likely get applications that you need for this device. For example, if I go to the Android Play Store and try to download the um, WhatsApp application for this, it says pass errors. So you need to look for some softwares or APK files that are for 3.2, which is very stressful. To solve that problem, you need to upgrade your 3.2 Android device to 4.0, 5.0 or whichever is available for your device. So going to your settings, connecting to a Wi-Fi network, going to the About menu and clicking Upgrade, most likely will do upgrade for most devices if upgrade is available for you via um, the network. But if upgrade is not available for you, you need to do it manually using a system. This is what this tutorial is all about. I'm going to show you how I'm going to upgrade this Android 3.2 to 4.0 using the Samsung Keys software is not a custom soft uh, custom firmware upgrade this is a official upgrade that is available for this device so let's get started with this tutorial i'll show you my system how the steps go and hope you like subscribe to this channel and let me know any problems you have doing this for yourself all right so before you get started this is what you need you are going to need the original samsung usb cable and you're also going to need your phone and of course a laptop so an active internet connection is required throughout the entire process because you are going to be downloading the firmware and it will be installing right into the device. Make sure you backed up your device. During the process, everything on your phone will not be wiped, but just for safety reasons, I recommend you back up your device before you get started in case the process gets interrupted along the way and you need to reformat. So let's get started. On my screen right now, I'm heading to the Samsung website. So if you go to this website, samsung.com, um, I'll put this link in the description. Whether you use a Mac OS or a Windows, you, might, you, you can download this software and install it. I've already done that, so I'm not gonna download it again and install. This is the software you need. After successful installation of this software, which is the Samsung um, Keys software, I'm going to allow the driver install. Remember, an active internet connection might must be on during this process. Okay, my Samsung um, Keys are successfully installed and I'm going to run it right now. And wait for it to launch before I'll be required to plug in my device into the computer. The Samsung Keys is mostly for any Samsung Galaxy device that you want to upgrade, backup, copy contacts, copy music. It has lots of features you can check out, not just for device upgrades. Okay, right now I have on my screen is telling me to please connect a device and I'm going to do that right now. Before you make sure your device is charged reasonably up to 80% um, before you plug it in and start this process. Driver installation is an important step that is going on right now. If this fails, you might not be able to upgrade this device to 4.0 like you want to do. So driver installation during this process might need an internet connection. As you see right now, it's installing the device drivers. If you're using Windows 7, Windows um, 8, or so on, make sure that you turn on Windows Update because some driver installations require uh, internet connection to connect to the internet and download the driver immediately and install. But well, I'm sure that Samsung Keys does come with these Samsung drivers. That's why it's installing this fast and I do not need to download it. So my Samsung SGH1957 has been identified successfully, as you can see. And the next step is to check out the current version and the new version that is available. 
this is the key guys so i have 3.2 and baseband of this but right now i'm give, i'm being given the latest version of android 4.0.4 and baseband of this the total size that will be downloaded during this process is 458 megabytes i'm not worried about that so that's why you need an active and very fast internet connection for this download to be very fast and not be interrupted by slow connection so this is where moves your Android device from Android 3.2 to 4.04. This is the only step that is required. That's why this whole video was done just to show you that this is possible because if you connect your Wi-Fi to your device and try to upgrade, it tells you that you're on the current upgrade. You're on the, the latest uh, version of your firmware. So when you connect it to this Samsung keys, it shows you a different version. So if you're using Android 3.2, Make sure you do this step, download keys, get a system, get an internet connection, plug the USB cable and click next. So it's going to warn me if the device is rooted, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you read all the warning uh, options and I'll go right ahead and click update. This process might take a while. So downloading 454 megabytes depending on how fast your internet connection is before it will be completed. But let me see how fast mine goes. Preparing the Galaxy Tab 8.9 software updates. Please do not disconnect your cable. So right now I'm not touching anything else so I don't interrupt this process. I'm going to allow it to continue and I'll see you right back in this video. With the mighty powers of editing, you can see that my download has jumped to 100% and the firmware is installing successfully almost at 100% right now and it's done. This is my screen and you can see the firmware was successful. It has been upgraded to 4.0.4. Let's go to the settings and check it out. Let's see if it's actually done. To confirm that the installation is successful, if I go to settings, go to about, my Android firmware right there is 4.0.4 so with that we can say this video was successful thank you for watching if you have any questions make sure you ask us in the comment box below and we'll be sure to answer you immediately my name is Soki Briggs and this is NG Buzz YouTube channel give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this bye bye